Well, it's fall in Wyoming. That usually means it's winter for the rest of the country. So take a look at this. Looks like some snow on the way. Let's start by taking a look at timing out the impacts. There will be some showers around Friday into Friday night, especially in southwestern Wyoming. Shouldn't be too much problem on the roads except for maybe Togedy Pass. Same story for Saturday, except this looks to be the wettest day across the vast majority of the area. You see a shower across anywhere. This will probably be the most numerous day. Maximum impacts as far as travel conditions, though, holding off Saturday night into Sunday. Showers will become more concentrated in the north and west, and snow level should begin to lower a little bit. And at this point, it looks like late Saturday night into Sunday morning looks like the most intense period of uh, any snow that will fall. So going over the western passes, especially Teton as well as Togedy Pass, that will be the maximum impact. Also during the day on Sunday, it could have a tighter pressure gradient. I mean strong winds developing rock springs over toward the Casper area. Starting taking a look at those maximum wind gusts. You can see the hot, strongest area, for say rock springs to Casper, usual areas. Could be gusts maybe to 50, 55 miles per hour, especially the favored areas. Wyoming Boulevard south of Casper as well as along I-80, especially east of Rock Springs. And how much snow are we going to get? Could be some snowflakes across the lower elevations, especially out here across the western valleys. But most areas in the uh, lower elevations just seeing flurries. Highest amounts of snow anywhere, say the Wind River Range could be locally over foot there, as well as the Absurkas, locally over foot across the Tetons. Now, one word of caution, if you're traveling northward, especially up towards, say, Glacier National Park, up toward Montana, much more snow up there, so travel conditions there looking much worse than here. And one more thing we want to look at here, temperatures looks like it's going to be turning much colder. Ah! You... Well, that's what happens when you, uh, someone dumps ice down your back and you slip on it trying to go after them. I'll teach him a lesson later. It help if I have my glasses, though. So what staring at computers does. Takes a toll on your eyesight. Anyway, high temperature change. This will be, especially Sunday into Monday, much colder. You can see temperatures as much as 35 degrees below what we had for high temperatures today across much of the area. So as we take out overall impacts, much colder temperatures starting Friday especially the weekend, but continuing into the middle of next week, we should see a warm-up as we get toward Thursday or Friday. Mountain Pass is becoming slick and snow-covered, especially Saturday night into Sunday. Could see several inches, maybe over a foot of snow in some areas, especially above 8,000 to 10,000 feet. Strong winds also possible, especially in portions of Sweetwater and Natrona counties during the day on Sunday. Now, one thing I want to emphasize, though, right there, still a lot of uncertainty. We have a lot of moving parts of the system, so if one changes, the area of uh, biggest impact could change too, so stay tuned for more updates as we get toward Friday and into the weekend. See our usual resources there for weather, road conditions, and our webcams by route. Have a great rest of your day.